Welcome to the Winter 2017 Channel Update. Hey guys, Mike Tendo here. Wow, I've got a lot to cover. So, uh, let's start off at the top, I guess. What would the top be? Well, for starters, this is ridiculous. Can you believe that this exists? Holiday Brew? It's literally just Mountain Dew and Code Red mixed together. It's not bad. It's kind of like cherry ish cherry it's like well code red's kind of cherry to begin all right anyways nothing to do with the channel all right so the next episode of dude you haven't played this game is taking a lot longer than expected um you know it, this time of the year is very difficult because mostly because of the holidays and i not only work a full-time job the the way that my job works is the end of the year is is kind of like the busiest time of the year for us so we're, we're very, very busy uh, trying to meet goal for the end of the year, end of the month, end of the quarter, and everything. So it's, it's pretty difficult to get stuff done. Uh, working long hours, not able to do everything. And on top of that, uh, right now I'm doing all the editing for Pixel Tunes because Ed is taking a break from the, uh, uh, from the podcast. Uh, if you do listen to Pixel Tunes, uh, you will see some uh, guests podcast uh, people on that are kind of filling in for Ed while he takes a break uh, during, uh, you know, for however long it is. Um, but last, this past episode that we just did was an interview with John Baker, the composer for Toe Jam and & Earl, uh, and a couple other games, which uh, it was really cool to sit down and talk to him uh, about his, you know, compositions and uh, his music and uh, it, was, it was a really informative epi episode. So if you've liked our previous composer interviews, you're really gonna dig that one. So uh, definitely go check that out. It's on the YouTube channel. Um, it's a previous video that I just posted before this one. And uh, on top of that, um, we have another episode coming out next week, which will come out most likely Wednesday. And uh, so I'm doing all the editing, so it, it, it's going to take me a lot longer to get other stuff out uh, in the meantime. So no big deal. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that. I do have a video coming up that is going to be probably next week. I'm, I'm hoping that next week we can get it done. It's going to be uh, between me and myself and um, uh, Brazel the Gamer. So you guys may remember him from the video that we did probably about a year ago around then and it was a top 10 super nes games that are under ten dollars uh so we wanted to do another video kind of similar in style but uh I, I think you guys are really gonna dig it because it's um you know it's, it's along the same lines of, as that so if you enjoyed that one you're really gonna dig this one so that should be next week uh regarding dude you haven't played this game i'm doing my first ever uh rpg review so uh you know the, the way that I do reviews is I have to beat a game to completion before I review it. And so right now I've got about close to 30 hours worth of footage recorded. Um, you know, I've been working on this probably since November, off and on. And so, you know, I don't get a lot of time to myself. So unfortunately, I, d I don't have the ability to sit for eight hours at a clip and just bang out an RPG review. So, you know, kudos to those who can, like my, my buddies, like uh, Daria plays RPGs, Super Derek, uh, even Lucius T, uh, or Lucius, Lucius Showcase, um, you know, pretty much any of my friends who do reviews, uh, you know, on YouTube, I, I don't know how they do it, because I can't. <laughs> so, uh, you know, will I do another RPG review after this? Yeah, probably. But, um, you know, I, I thought that this was gonna be a 30 hour romp, and then I'd be done, I'm almost halfway through the game at this point. So I'm gonna estimate it's gonna come out in January at some point. I was hoping to get it out this month, but unfortunately it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. Um, so that's that. Uh, what I've been playing uh, as far as games go, that's pretty much it. That's the, the game that I'm reviewing is all I've been playing really. Um, I have been playing a little bit of um, just some Nintendo games like NES stuff, Super NES stuff. You know, just like casual, you know, sit down and just try a game out and see if I like it. Uh, so that is, that is what's, what I've been playing. 
Um, speaking of Lucius Showcase, he just hit 600 subscribers, and I want to give him a shout out because he does a really cool series uh, every December where he he basically redoes a movie, but he does it uh, with like his own like channel style, if you will, and uh, it's really cool. Right now he's doing Elf. Last year he did Die Hard, uh, but he does uh, one video every like for 25 days. Uh, up until Christmas so you get to see the whole movie kind of reenacted and he's got some you know he does some really cool editing and stuff and he's got a great channel overall he does some really awesome uh, game reviews game spots spotlights and uh, he also does a let's play with his now fiance congratulations uh, Jen and that's a lot of fun to watch as well he did one in October for Night Trap and that was really interesting because I got to see how different the PS4 version of Night Trap is uh, versus the Sega CD one. He, he uh, they, they did the uh, the PS4 version. So that is uh, that is my shout out of the uh, of the thing. So go subscribe to him. He's he's good people. Uh, you know, as far as everything else, there there is something really big that I wanted to discuss, and that is that uh, I'm I'm gonna be a dad. Uh, yeah, no, legit, like, not like a food baby or something, you know, because I've got this lovely, um, pastrami sandwich from last night that I, I'm reheated. Uh, so not that food baby, but a real human baby. Uh, my wife is pregnant, and, uh, we're, we're having a, well, we don't know what we're having yet, uh, but, uh, she's just hit, uh, just finishing up the first trimester, and we let everybody know online, you may, have, may or may not have seen my Twitter post about it yesterday. Um, you know, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm psyched. I'm, I'm, I've always wanted a child, so I think this is going to be awesome. Um, I'm excited to be a dad. I can't wait. What I will say is, uh, you know, a lot of people make... Uh, what I tend to notice is a lot of people who do YouTube, when they have kids, uh, they, they, they're, the time is just isn't there, especially if you're like a working parent. So... Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, the channel is gonna take a hit in terms of productivity. Now, what that means is uh, Pixel Tunes will still be coming out, um, though there will be a future update regarding the status of Pixel Tunes uh, in terms of how that's going to affect it or what we're planning on doing. Uh, we're gonna change the format up a little bit, not too much, but uh, you know, we, we will be letting everybody know that uh, most likely sometime in January. Uh, or later. I, I don't know. Everything's kind of on the hiatus with Ed uh, currently on hiatus. So uh, it's going to be, you know, whenever we get to it, you guys will hear it on a future episode as far as like what we'll be doing or you'll, you'll see it. Um, I can't really say too much more than that, but uh, there will be a slight change in how we do things on Pixel Tunes. Um, but for those who are kind of freaking out, I've talked to Ed, he's not leaving Pixel Tunes, he will be back, he just, he needs a break, you know what I mean? So that, that's how it goes. Um, you know, he's had some unfortunate family stuff, uh, happen, and, uh, you know, just the holidays and everything, so, um, and, and he, he also, uh, wants to, uh, do some other projects as well, so we kind of need some time to, you know, kind of settle. Uh, but he will be back and Pixel Tunes will return uh, with him. But Pixel Tunes will temporarily move on without him. And again, like I said, next week's episode will not feature Ed, uh, but it will be me and uh, my good friend uh, Justin. And we'll be doing a episode on Wario games. Wario! So uh, that that's really going to be fun. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. That's going to be episode 104. Uh, now, as far as other videos in the on the channel like series of videos uh, gaming linguistics um, noob repair gaming linguistics tend to be a lot easier to think of and I've got one in the kind of cooker if you will I haven't written anything I've got an idea I've got an idea of how I'm gonna do it but uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting and then uh, I've got Somebody mentioned two other games uh, recently that I wanted to also po potentially do uh, episodes on. So Gaming Linguistics is pretty healthy, though, you know, I I'm really trying to focus on this dude you haven't played this game review. I, I really want to get this out as soon as possible. So again, January for that. Uh, noob Repair, I filmed a Noob Repair, but I'm not happy with it. Um, it was essentially a 
um, idea for storing uh, wires, uh, larger controllers, things like that. You know, with Noob Repair, the ideas come to me when they come to me, unfortunately. There's not much I can do about that. Um, I'm kind of like, you know, if, if you guys got suggestions for what you'd like to see me cover, uh, remember, Noob Repair is uh, my show where I do uh, repairs or tips uh, ideas for storage capabilities or how to change like memory card batteries or things like that like all different stuff like that the only thing is that I do not solder so I know how to solder myself but I do not solder because uh, soldering is kind of difficult I want everybody to you know kind of not have to worry about soldering something so uh, any ideas that you guys could think of that I haven't already covered uh, feel free to mention down in the comment below or send me a message on Twitter or uh, you know YouTube here um, what else there's a strong possibility as far as uh, you know the child's due in June so uh, I, what I may do is I may do a bunch of reviews just to you know take some time to do a bunch and then just kind of stagnate like them like like slowly uh, release them over time I may do that um, just so I have enough time because I'm not gonna have time uh, probably from June to August I'd say I don't think anything will come out at that point maybe some stuff like pixel tunes but other than that I don't, I don't foresee myself doing that now there things may change things may be totally different I don't know but, uh, you know, I don't know what to predict. Uh, I know that it's going to be difficult. It's going to be a huge change in my life and huge change to my gaming lifestyle, I guess you could say. So, um, am, I, am I planning on quitting? No. Uh, I do plan on continuing the channel and continuing reviews. I just would really, you know, like to ask you guys for your patience in, in re releasing new content after June. I hope you guys can understand that it is, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be, uh, basically episodes get done when they get done. Um, I've been putting out one, I've been putting out an episode per month, at least one episode per month since... Uh, duh, duh, duh. I don't know. Uh, this is the sixth season of the show coming up for Dude, you haven't played this game. So, um, yeah. Phew, wow, six seasons. That's pretty crazy. I can't believe I've been on YouTube for that long. Well, anyways, uh, I'm going to cut this short because I've got, you know, a sandwich to eat. So, leave a comment below uh, as far as uh, the new repair thing. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and I, I look forward to reading all your comments. So, yeah, and uh, give this stuff a shot. It's uh, not bad. Yeah. You may have missed other videos on the channel as well. Here's the last three reviews that you can click to watch. So if you like Dude You Haven't Played This Game and you may have missed stuff or it didn't show up in your subscription box, go ahead and click any of these right now.